Are, are you seeing traffic on eFinances.com picking up as a consequence of what's going on around you? Oh, yes, yes. Uh, the, the more the crisis goes on, the more people are interested. I remember when I began talking about gold in 2003, 2004. Yeah. They really thought, oh, what a nice lady, but she's a <laughs> bit gone. <laughs> what is she talking about, yeah. Bretton Woods? And what yeah. is she talking about gold? You know, yeah. What is this? It's not worth it's, it's. But people are starting to understand. But now, you, yes, yes. Uh, the media are taking, not much, not much, but slowly, but they are beginning to, to, to look at it as, uh, as a serious thing, you know? And yeah. They are not asking that much questions, you know, but, but I think it's, it's coming. Are you also attracting readership in Latin America? Yes, uh, quite 60% uh, of our readers come from South America, yeah. especially but, Argentina. I was Mexico. going to say Argentina, now you have a 25% inflation rate. Mexico, Venezuela, Bolivia, Peru, yeah. and, and Spain. You know, Argentina is a particularly interesting situation because of all of the currency problems they've had in the past. Uh, in 1991, I went to Buenos Aires specifically to study the inflation. You may recall that the currency at the time was called the Austral. And in January of that year, it, w it was officially tied 14 Australs to one U.S. dollar. That was the exchange rate. But the government wanted to pump up the economy, so they broke the exchange rate and started creating more and more Australs. Uh, I arrived in early May, and the exchange rate was 64 Australs to one U.S. dollar. When I left a week later, it was 96 Australs to one U.S. dollar. December, it was 10,000 Australs to one U.S. dollar. You know, it was a massive hyperinflation of the currency. And the thing that was you know, quite impressive to me, because I was meeting with you know, uh, a variety of different people, including shopkeepers. Uh, but when I would meet with the shopkeepers, the clear uh, objective was just to move their inventory and get into a hard currency, either gold or at that time the Deutsche Mark uh, or the U.S. dollar. Uh, because they understood that if the currency collapses, it's going to create economic chaos. And what they wanted to do is to get liquid preserve their purchasing power so that the other side of the valley, they could reestablish their shop and buy inventory and you know, participate then in the new economic period. And uh, so I'm sure there are a lot of Argentinians who have oh, yes. in their living memory yes. you know, that experience from 1991. And young people, not, not old people, young people, not like in Europe, no? If well, they'll learn if, they, if, yes, if, you yes. know, if there is another hyperinflation. Also, Mexico has a lot of knowledge of that. And, well, all in, in, in all South America we have. Yeah. A lot of knowledge of what a crisis means. Yeah, it's quite ironic too that you know, given the fact there's so much gold and silver produced in Latin America, one would think that there'd be a better understanding of the importance of gold and silver in yes. the monetary system. Yes. But uh, despite the fact that so much metal, not just recently but you know, historically, has been produced uh, in in Latin America, uh, the lack of appreciation for the importance of gold and silver is sort of shocking, really. Well, uh, I attend. Every two years, I don't know if you know, the, the International Symposium del Oro in Peru. It's every two years. It's a very important meeting in South America about mm -hmm. gold and gold mining. And as you said, what really shocked me, it's a really important symposium, what really shocked me is that nobody and in Lima, not in the press, not in the TV, and there were big shots from mining, and, and, and Peru lives from mining. 60% of the income yes. comes from mining. They don't have information. I was eating with people and asking them, "Do you know I'm coming to the silver to the gold symposium?" And they said, oh, "What what symposium?" You know, really, they, they hadn't even like, heard of it. Yes, and it's that's <coughs> shocking. No? A, yes, a, a, a country that lives from from gold, from silver, from copper. Yeah, that they don't know. You know, it's like. Well, everywhere in the world. It's yeah, that really is amazing. It is. Obviously, we need more people reading ROEFinances.com. For sure. Marianne, thank you very much. It's been thank a real you. pleasure. And, you know, I admire your work. And again, thanks for you know, sharing with us those uh, wonderful videos of the Bundesbank Min thank uh, you Money very Museum. Much. Thank you.